I'm here with Jeff Lewis, who is an attorney. He is also the founder of Jeff Lewis Law. Jeff, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's going to be a busy 2024 for the Supreme Court of the United States. It is going to be one that will likely be filled with drama and intrigue, perhaps no more so than the upcoming case um, around um, former President Trump, now presidential candidate Trump's right to be on the Colorado ballot um, or right for Colorado to keep him off of that ballot. So what there's a lot of information and different disinformation out there. Could you let us know, like, what should we be thinking about this case as it goes in front of the Supreme Court on February 8th? Well, one of the things to think about is the Supreme Court exists to resolve conflicts among the states. And so if Colorado and Maine are taking different approaches as to whether Mr. Trump can appear on the ballot, the Supreme Court brings uh, uniformity so that every state knows what to do and will follow the Supreme Court's guidance in terms of whether President Trump appears on the ballot. Yeah. And is this like, is this groundbreaking? Is there any precedence? Um, what do you think when you see this case? Is this something brand new or is this um, something that this country has been through before? Well, this will be the first time the United States Supreme Court has taken up the question of what does Section 3 of the 14th Amendment mean? Uh, there have been lower courts that have grappled with the question. There was a case in New Mexico where a county commissioner was stripped of office based on supporting an insurrection using Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. But this will be the first time this law is being considered or interpreted by the United States Supreme Court and applied to the office of president. And then the thing that comes to mind for me is that we are like right in the heart of uh, primary season. Um, right. You know, President, former President Trump, candidate Trump is by far the winner of these primaries so far. Of course, we have a long way to go and a lot more to see. But um, is this all for naught? Like, is there any feeling that, you know, all these primaries are happening and yet at the end of the day, if a state... Um, is allowed to say a candidate cannot be on their um, ballot, then this all this is just um, kind of an academic process that's not going to mean anything. Well, it's not all for naught in, in this sense. Whatever the Supreme Court says, assuming that it issues a decision on the merits and doesn't dodge the question, um, not only will it give the state's direction about whether or not Mr. Trump could appear on the ballot, but also give Congress direction. Because imagine this. There are a few different scenarios where uh, due to a third party candidate or votes being disputed, where an election could be decided not by electors, but being thrown to Congress. And if that happens, Congress would need to know what does the 14th Amendment and Section 3 mean and what should Congress do for a candidate Trump if they are asked or have the question of appointing him to the presidency. 